Hi friends, we're looking at Psalm 34 and this is such a rich Psalm that we're going slowly. In this video, we're only going to look at half a verse, verse 2a. Let's read it together. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. <clears throat> Why? would david write my soul shall make its boast in the lord why not just say i shall praise the lord it's very interesting and to understand that we need to look at the individual words let's first look at that word soul now the word soul in our vocabulary probably ha often has a meaning of kind of, it's our internal ghost, you could say. <laughs> I think that's our, sometimes how we think of it. It's kind of an abstract spiritual thing, but it's not really uh, that relevant for the here and now, the physical, that which I experience in my day-to-day -day life. It's very much just a, abstract thing but that's not how it is in the bible in the bible we read about the soul for the first time in genesis 2 verse 6 and 7 where we read that the lord god formed the man the first man this is adam of the dust from the ground and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul some translations put it others say living creature but that soul is the same word, nefesh. <clears throat> and this word refers to what God imparted to us to make us alive. It's our life principle. It's what makes us alive. But the fascinating thing is the most basic uh, function of the soul is not some spiritual thing but it's actually desire. And I encourage you to go through the Bible and study the word soul. You'll find that the most basic uh, activity associated with the soul in the Bible is desire. And not only spiritual desire, but also physical desire. Psalm 63 verse 5 puts physical and spiritual desire together. My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food. So it's, it's the same. Even food can be satisfying as the Lord is satisfying. Now, of course, the Lord, desiring the Lord and being satisfied by the Lord is much deeper and much greater and much more lasting. But it's no less real. That's the important thing. It's no less real than even being satisfied by food when you're really hungry or you're really, first, uh, really thirsty. Psalm 42, verse 1, as the deer pants for flowing streams, as the deer plants, pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Psalm 42, verse 1. So this is the point. Desire is one of our most it's it's probably our most uh, basic activity most um fundamental activity which we do as a human is desire <clears throat> and the desire for the lord is as true and real and and tangible you could say as the desire for anything else when we are children of god he sustains us so if you haven't experienced that real desire, there's something wrong. And that desire is, is so uh, strong that when, he, he, when it's satisfied, David makes, its, makes his boast. His soul makes its boast in the Lord. Why his boast? Well, that word boast is... A fascinating word in the Hebrew. It's a special form of the word which has bearing upon oneself instead of something else. In other words, say for example the word fall in Hebrew. The normal, the standard form of the word is fall, and the special form of the word is to prostrate oneself. 
So in this case, the normal word is praise. It's the same form of the word. It's the root of this word is uh, hallelujah. So the same word we get hallelujah from, to praise, halal. But this form of the word is to boast. In other words, the reference is to the soul. What the soul gets in the Lord. Do you understand? So because David has experienced something, he boasts. And that experience is in the Lord. Do you understand? And, and here is what he is boasting of that his soul is in the Lord, that he belongs to the Lord. <clears throat> you know, boasting is, <clears throat> can be uh, prideful and it can be wrong, but the Bible says there's one form of boasting which is correct and which is right. Let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Boasting in the Lord is testimony. It is evangelism. It is you cannot but help it. If you get something you really desire, you can't, you can't help but praising, you know, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, boasting in a way, you know, speaking about it, overflowing with it. And the one time when you really need to do that is when you've experienced the Lord and being made his. And, it, we, and you can experience that anew every day, being made his. But we may, must remember that it is in the Lord, the Lord the one true God of Israel, that is his covenant name, I am, <clears throat> which is translated there. It's Yahweh. And we must remember that only in the face of Jesus can we really know the Lord. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So it's being made to belong to Jesus, which can make us boast. There is one account in the Bible which really, I think, illustrates this. And behold, a woman of the city who was a sinner, when she learned that Jesus was reclining at a table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment, and standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wipe them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. That is boasting in a way in the Lord. That is so being so satisfied in him. That is experiencing the Lord Jesus's forgiveness. It says she was a sinner. You experience that you are a sinner and you're forgiven by Jesus, that you're made his, that you belong to him, that he is so precious to you, that he has saved you, that he is awesome beyond words he is the king he is almighty and infinite and yet he looks down on you and and loves you and wants to pick you up and make you his that is when your soul can make its boast in the lord when you can say look at what the lord has done for me and you can testify let's pray together lord thank you for this opportunity we have to boast in you when we are yours i pray that if anyone watches this and they have never experienced a enjoyment of the lord which is as real as enjoying food lord i pray that you would give it to them that you would give it to me lord that we would experience you and that we would be able to boast in the lord and praise the lord and be delighted in you lord that we would boast because we belong to you, because we are in the Lord, because our souls is in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.